Well, hello, yo, I here to show you the, the Dream Moon coloring right here. So, far as the J.C. Dugard story about J.C. Dugard and the Stolen Life. As you have it right here, as you got the book, and then along with the, the pinecone charm, and then along with the bookmark, and then along you know, with the reading glasses. But you have it right here, is that so far with Dream Moon, is it something I came up with of, uh, about uh, the, about, you know, it's like talking about, you know, the Dream Moon. Is that if we were to think about you know, is that you know study about the it could if I remember right it was some type of life science and earth science and stuff if we were do like to study about the science where we do a study about the different planets is that more likely that if we we pretty much you know have known that the, more likely that the, with the with the with the moon right here is that the, which says the planets would not shine with their own light. That they would get their own light so far as with the with you know, the hemispheres like uh, you got that that the, they would shine up that they you know, that they would get the, the light from the from the sun and then the, along with the you know, the other stuff that, that, that you know that we you know learned in science class but but basically about the dream moon what I came up with right here is that the fa the fact about uh, is that something that you can make is like so far as studying so far as about the the moon right here you got the, the crescent moon you got the full moon and and uh, the half moon solar eclipse moon and and uh, however you want to pronounce it and uh, right down here I went ahead and described right here is a is say is a, a glow in the dark you know type of it's a glow in the dark moon right here a, a moon that glows in the dark. But you got the, the glow in the dark moon right here, and uh, of course you got the moon right there, and then along with the you know the, the night light that type moon, which I remember whenever I was a kid, I probably had about four of them uh, around, uh, four or five of them until one of them got lost, and I think uh, one or two of them broke. But um, but basically, talk about about dream moon is a uh, about. Um, Something that you could, uh, you know, that you can make, and you know, something that maybe you can invent or whatever. So far, as study about how it works. Is it so far as uh, knowing about uh, about exactly about is, is so far as the dream moon is uh, about. Uh, it's like uh, let's say if we just draw a few stars right here, but but if you were to maybe color a picture or paint a picture or maybe come up to. With a sculpture, it could be a flower pot or whatever you caught. That uh, more likely that you would probably say that uh, it would be kind of a a dream, you know, if it were to last a long time. And basically, I guess you can also look at it as uh, yeah, that, that with the, the dream moon that uh, you have it to where a moon that glows like this that glows at night time. A lot of times at night, that uh, one of the times. That uh, you know, that you, you know, help you sleep is by if you were to have a something like a like a like a moon a a, a shape of a moon is like it could be a round circle round circle or it could be a square something like that you know something something that you can use maybe in the bedroom or maybe in the office you know at night something that that uses only you know, maybe about you know maybe ten to ten watts of electricity. 10 watts is say so far as equal to say volts and and uh, you know you would uh, you would you use about you know certain amount of, you know 10 watts of uh, you know electricity uh, you know to you know to to give you enough light you know to be able to see within a few feet you know from from uh, from a certain part of the room or whatever but uh, but you have that you know, the the glow uh, you say the glow in the dark moon and along with the, the night light moon and it plugs into the AC outlet or it could be better operated but um Say it'd be be kind of like a dream to be able to uh, to make something like that or to buy something you know that would last a long time. And uh, of course, you know, with the details I went ahead and drew of the moon, I guess would be kind of a good example is that uh, if uh, if you could draw a picture of the moon right there, and then uh, maybe uh, you know have it to where that you do uh, like a creative project with it. That uh, if you know maybe if you can cut it out as I draw a few dots, you know. Like if you were to, and then along with the pair of scissors, but if you could uh, cut it out, and then uh, maybe um, you know, do uh, other creative uh, things with it. It's like with the circle, as you have it to where that uh, that you can you know copy and paste it into like maybe a scrapbook or something like that. 
scrapbooking and then uh, you get the, the different measurements and stuff different measurements to, to if you wanted to add a little bit of glitter or it's like so far as clip art or something like that but the, so you draw a moon and then the, and then with the moon is like you add a little bit of details about you know maybe the moon rocks and stuff like that the moon rocks that maybe you think you'll be able to find on on the surface of the moon and to draw a little bit of details right there at the moon but so far it's like with the Barbie doll right here is like something that you think that you would uh, that you would buy you know, from the store or whatever and it would only last maybe a couple of years it could get ruined or whatever but uh, a lot of times is that uh, with the, the dream moon is talking about the things that you would like to uh, uh, like to have or something that you would you dream about having that that, that would last you know, a long time or that would last quite a while and uh, of course you could probably look at it as like you know, in her book that more likely I'm sure that you know the book will last uh, quite a long time but let's just say if we use a Barbie doll as an example it's like it's like it's like you draw so far as you know the eye right here you get the eye you know, for the the Barbie doll and along with that that you know the eyebrow it could be the you know, eyelashes but the, let's just say if you so you draw you know the eye right here it's like you know the eye of space of the Barbie doll get the Barbie doll right here and then after that and then that of course is to you know, just um, you know, add um, a little bit of um, a blue and uh, add some blue you know to the the color bar of the Barbie doll, the, the eye of the, of the Barbie doll right there, and then after that, and then of course, if you like, whenever you look into uh, into space, is that you look into the so far as you know the eye, <laughs> the eye of the moon or whatever, but you just add a little bit of detail, and just a little bit of detail, you know, it's like so far as what the what the, the sky would look like. If you could give a star a name, then what would you name it? <laughs> More likely that you can, yeah. You know, if it, it it may take a while for you to come up with a name for that particular that star or whatever that uh, that you want to design, that come up with the the creative design for, but maybe a, a temporary name for it. You know, could be it's like you know the you know, the say the the creative mind. You can maybe name it you know the creative uh, the the creative thought or something, but. Um, yeah, but uh, on here, I guess you say that uh, it's like if you want uh, something to get you started, is to go ahead and draw a, a star with maybe four corners or maybe so a total of eight corners. You know, eight corners right there, and make it to have it to where you got the you know different colors, which I'm sure a lot of us have maybe studied a little bit about this you know, so far in, in science class you know, with the different shapes. You get the you know, triangle, or it could be you know, say, octagon or or something. And uh, of course, this is a, a shape that I kind of just you know thought you know made up or whatever. So you got these different names of these different shapes. And uh, of course, the different names and the different shapes that that's the kind of activity that more or less lasts forever, along with the the along with the measurements. But so far as the there's a way that you think about it is that you know the dream moon is that whatever you can think of that could be creative you know that could be used more likely as would you say a dream that lasts forever or you know a dream that what you call you know that lasts a long time but so far with the JC Dugard and along with the dream moon color